In this video, we're going to be talking about a feature that seems to be causing a lot of confusion. And that has to do with the two values over here, the K value and the V value. When you're setting up a cycle and you've got your plastic selected, you've got your target temperature, you can either accept that or change it. And then you go to the K value. What the K value stands for is thickness. Okay, so I have here a one millimeter sheet. So what I have to do is change um, the given thickness right here, which is a 0.5, and I go up to one millimeter. I select to accept, and now I go to the V value. The V value is a little more complicated to explain. If you remember, the vacuum form has, uh, has a special vacuum system. It's built in, it's two vacuum systems. The first vacuum system is a high airflow impeller. The second vacuum is a high pressure vacuum pump. That's why we have the suck fast, squeeze hard. Okay, that has to do with those two vacuum systems. Um, when you're doing a cycle, you first start with the first vacuum, which sucks out the majority of the air, and then it switches over to the second vacuum, which squeezes out every last bit of air. It's that switch over sensitivity, it's what's being controlled by the V value. In most cases, zero is what you want. In most cases, zero is the neutral position, and that's good for a majority of cases. When you become an expert in using a vacuum form and you want more control with your um, pull, um, you might want the second vacuum to come on sooner, or maybe you want, to, you want it to come on later. And that's where the uh, V value comes in. The way to understand this is um, when you change the V value, you are changing how quickly the second vacuum switches on. It's that switch over that's being controlled by the V value. If you want your second vacuum to come on a little later, what you wanna do is increase the V value to some positive value. So that's between um, one to seven. When you go to eight, 8 is the maximum positive value. When you reach 8, only the first vacuum will switch on and the second vacuum will not switch on. This is, these are the cases when you only want the first stage vacuum to be engaged. If, on the other hand, you want your vacuum to switch on a little later than the neutral, than the neutral zero, then what you do is you decrease the value into, um, to some negative value. That's between negative one and negative seven. When you reach negative eight, which is the maximum value, what will happen is only the second vacuum will switch on. These are the cases where you only want the second vacuum to switch on, only the, uh, the high pressure vacuum to switch on. So again, to repeat, at either end of the range, a positive or a negative eight, it's either the first vacuum or the second vacuum that switches on. Anything in between, anything in between you are controlling the sensitivity of the switchover. So either you get a negative value, which engages the second vacuum sooner, or you have a positive value, which engages the second vacuum later. I hope that clears up what the V value means. And like I said, in most, in most cases, you just want a zero value, and that should be good for most of your pulls. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions, click on the description below and all the links will be there. Thanks for watching.